The future of work is where individuals are able to get access to the information and the resources around them to be able to be more flexible and more creative and in a way in which they've never done before. Technology is going to change the way we understand workplaces because we think about 19th century modes of work. It's about inputs and outputs and units of labour. And we've continued to treat people on the same basis. I think the main differences will be not in the work itself, but how we perceive work and how we go about work. It is down to, do we really, as a human, contribute to the success of the company? Do we really do what humans could do best? Technology that a few years ago, like artificial intelligence, machine learning, IoT, were more kind of science fiction things. Now they can be deployed anywhere. As more and more devices become connected and those data points become more integrated, machine learning will be easier. The idea of work on workplace is centered around physical constraints. It won't be. It'll be centered around emotional and intellectual effort more and more. The workplace of the future, I think, has a different layout than it does today. It's much more focused on the collaboration of work between small work groups or larger work groups than it is individual workspaces. So we're essentially at the infancy with the Internet of Things and connecting different devices and all these different disparate data points will become much more integrated and machine learning will come out of that. In the future there will be um, decision support from intelligent systems and this will be enabled by two main technologies. Internet of Things, so the information distribution between devices and artificial intelligence. And the combination of the two will enable this smart decision support systems. The kind of value we are trying to create for businesses is really taking out all the different systems are there which are generating data and putting them together with the devices and also with the employees, the information that they create to build up what we call a digital cortex that you can think it like a kind of fabric or that permeate your, all your business and can connect all the dots together the idea of a centered digital self within the center of the workplace. Something that represents you as an individual, you as a company, that is an empowering point. As a company, the workplace becomes part of your portfolio, the thing that you can create that offers value to other people, that attracts them to come and work for you and to stay working for you. But it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be big. I think, historically, the workplace presence has to be about scale. But the future workplace might be rather smaller, just brilliantly managed and perfectly attuned to the changing requirements of individuals and groups. I believe in the future we don't have to carry all this stuff. Laptops, smartphones, adapters. We basically have variable technology that helps to identify us. Enter a building, the building recognizes you, it leads you to the meeting room. The meeting room uh, recognizes that it's you, it will access your calendar and your data, and so on. As long as we can balance that sense of being observed as a human being and how comfortable that can be with, well, what can we learn by making those observations and optimizing the environments of work and giving us a great deal more choice? I think we're on the verge of deepening our understanding of what work is and what it will become. <laughs>